Bang, 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 bang. I thought it was 20, 30 shots going off. It sounded like, it was it was just crazy. Like Sad day to come across that day. To hear what I heard, to knowing that those shots were shots of a, a and somebody lost their life due to that. It's, 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 it's haunting. Welcome to W211 News at 11. I'm Tatiana Cash. Now you heard that there it's a murder in West Toledo today, about four miles from WTO 11 studios. And this is Marvelous Walton. He is a 17 year old high school student and next month he was supposed to gear up for his senior year at St. Francis de Sales football. He was going to be training for a spot on the varsity team. But today he is one of 16 victims of Toledo's homicides this year. Our Trent Croce gathered a reaction from neighbors where this teen's death hit the community hard. It was a tragic day in West Toledo. One neighborhood was rocked as a shooting took the life of yet another juvenile. Marvelous Walton was just sitting in a car parked on the 3800 block of Lockwood Street off Burdan. This usually peaceful family neighborhood was forever changed because of the alarming sound of gunfire. Looking over and I heard I heard the rounds and they were rapid. They were rapid sounds. It was like, like um, almost like uh, like automatic weapons. For more, father to a 16 year old daughter, the death of another teen in the area struck him even harder, knowing gun violence does not discriminate. Not all, uh, you know, adults, it's kids killing kids. And it's, that's tough to take. But you just don't, you just go home and, and pray every time she leaves the house. Others in the area began to think even more about their own family and personal safety. Getting down on the ground thinking we were getting shot at because it was so close. And we got kids here. There's kids all around the neighborhood. Like this, this neighborhood, these are nice houses. These are like good family homes. Like we don't really have problems like that. Robinson hopes he doesn't have to witness a situation like this again. It's just messed up that people have to worry about this stuff every day. It could happen to anybody. And, and for more, parents, this affected him uh, deeply. No parents should have to bury their kids. Not at, not at such a young age, or at any age for that matter, but for, due to violence, you never want to come across that. It's, um, it's just it's a sad day. West Toledo, Trent Croce, WTOL 11. The other victim was taken to St. Vincent Hospital and he is still alive at this time. Walton's murder marks the 29th homicide this year and law enforcement says that any information should be referred to our Crime Stoppers line and St. Francis is actually going to have counselors. If any student needs to talk, that's going to be tomorrow starting at 4 p.m. there at St. Francis de Sales High School.